श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्मा तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः तस्मै श्री गुरवे दिव्यम ददा ते चक्षु पश्चमे योगम ईश्वर भगवान श्री कृष्ण टोल अर्जुन दैट माई टोटल अंडरस्टैंडिंग विल नॉट बी पॉसिबल विद द लिमिटेशन ऑफ यूर मीन्स ऑफ नॉलेज अवर मीन्स ऑफ नॉलेज आर सेंस ऑर्गन माइंड एंड इंटेलेक्ट एंड द ट्रेनिंग दैट वी हैव गिवन to our sense organs mind and intellect so these are the limitations through these limitations our all come come through these limitations if we like to know the infinite only an illusion will appear take an example <clears throat> if we look at the sky space space is that which does not have form and color and eyes are those which can function only where there are forms and colors but the eyes will insist on seeing because that is their nature eyes want to see <coughs> space is the one which cannot be seen see the tragedy for the eyes then what will happen yet the eyes will start looking at the space net result optical illusion <coughs> and when we see the blue color of the sky and mistake that whatever i have seen by my eyes that alone i believe so we have seen the blue color of the sky so will you believe will you accept that the sky has a color see friends so what is the net result net result is although the color neither has the form nor the color yet we will attribute blue color to the sky what will be the divya drishti what will be the divine vision the divine vision is although we are seeing the blue color of the sky yet the sky does not have any color that will be the right understanding this right understanding is called as divine vision we are obsessed and influenced by our limitations of means of knowledge and because of this obsession we are arrogantly wanting to see god by our charma chakshu by our gross vision which will never be possible and therefore when bhagwan sri krishna gave arjuna this divya drishti then what arjuna has seen was told by sanjay to dhritarashtra and where he said That अनेक वक्त्र नयनम अनेक अद्भुत दर्शनम अनेक दिव्या भरणम अनेको दिव्या नेको जतायुधम दिव्य माल्यम बरधरम दिव्य गंधानुलेपनम सर्व आश्चर्य मयम देवम अनंतम विश्व तो मुखम So everything was out of this world because what we can understand. is only what we have known something take an example suppose i tell you i went to africa and there i saw dunda so what knowledge is taking place no knowledge can you please explain me to more what is dunda is it a tree is it a flower is it a fruit is it an animal is it a human being is it a name is it a taste what is that 
बिकॉज वी ओनली नो आवाज और कम हो वी ओनली नो शब्द स्पर्श रूप रस गंधा एनीथिंग विच इज बियॉन्ड दैट वी विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज यूर बिकॉज दिस इज ऑल दैट वी आर नोन थ्रू आउट आवर लाइफ एंड देर फोर द टीचर ट्राइज टू हेल्प अस understand you know that divine form was like as if simultaneously thousands of suns were shining in the sky what will be the brightness like that the divine form was bright so we start should i put on goggles to look at that divine form it must be very difficult Because our understanding of brightness is only with reference to these lights. See, friends. But if we have the divine vision, as we saw yesterday, that candle light is bright in darkness, but the candle light becomes dim before the sunlight, because sunlight is overpowering and conceals the other light. The sunlight is seen by the eyes. therefore the light of the eyes is more powerful than the sunlight on the sun then the vision is illumined by the mind so the light of the mind is more powerful than the light of the eyes see friends this divya drishti if it is discovered we will have a totally different understanding of the truth according to our scriptures the truth is revealed in stages see it is the truth is nirguna nirakar without attributes and without form second the truth is indicated saguna nirakar with attributes but with no form the third the truth is saguna sakar with attributes and with form and yet the truth is beyond all the three atyatishta dashangula three friends unless this complete understanding takes place we will be only obsessed with one or the other vision and this divya drishti is that we have a complete understanding without any doubt okay. so to get this divya drishti take an example day to day example then we see what arjuna has seen otherwise if you take out the translations of this thing <coughs> that arjuna says i have seen all things in you i have seen brahma ji i have seen vishnu ji i have seen shiva i have seen all the animals and all the terrible snakes this, this is not the meaning see friends so let us take an example to understand complete understanding what it means there was a teacher who used to teach drawing to the children in his class one day he said come on children today i will take your examination so what he did he made those children sit in a circle twelve of them one sitting at 12 o'clock second at 1 o'clock third at 2 o'clock fourth at 3 o'clock like that the 12 children were sitting and in the center he kept one kettle one flower pot two cups and some dog in between and some fruits and he said okay start looking at the thing and drawing and they have done drawing when the period or the examination time was over he said now stop now let us evaluate so you only evaluate so if i have to evaluate my own paper i will always say it is perfect so not that way then 
12 o'clock student give the paper to the 3 o'clock student. 3 o'clock student give the paper to the 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock to the 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock to the 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock to the 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock to the 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock to the 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock to the 2 o'clock. In this way, transfer your papers to the third person at your right hand. Then, then yes sir. Now, evaluate these papers. And the children have seen everything wrong. And don't tell what is your evaluation. Simply write down and give the papers to me. <coughs> so all the teach students wrote and gave to the teacher. He said, now look here. I have not done anything. <coughs> you among yourself have evaluated the paper. I am giving out the result. 12 o'clock students result fail, wrong drawing. Then 1 o'clock student fail, wrong drawing. And he said, all the 12 of you are wrong. And I have not done anything. You only have done. How it is possible everybody is wrong? I said, what can I do? No, 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 please see. It cannot be. He said, okay. Then he started evaluating. And when he evaluated, he said, according to me, every one of you are correct. Nobody is wrong. Now see the difference. The students were obsessed with one particular angle. And therefore, if something is not seen, as seen by me, it is wrong. See? And who was the teacher? The teacher is sitting in his own place. But he has a Divya Drishti. He is able to cognize and recognize that from a 12 o'clock angle, how the things will look like. From 3 o'clock angle, how the things will look like. And because he is able to have the comprehensive vision of a situation from his standpoint, nothing is wrong. This is the Divya Drishti. See friends, in God's creation, there is nothing wrong. Everything is perfectly going wrong. Unless this vision we are able to discover, we will be all the time complaining only. Why this is happening? One governor's daughter. She happened to see me somewhere in satsang. And after satsang was over, then uh, question answer, which I never like to entertain. But I was introduced. Swamiji, Mrs. So and so, she is the daughter of the governor. So and so. So naturally, she has to respect me. She has to be respected. I said, okay. Uh, she has some questions. I said, okay, Mama, what is your question? Swamiji, I want to know, good people suffer in this world and bad people enjoy life. Why this happens? I said, Mama, forget about the world. Are you suffering? No, no, Swamiji, I am enjoying life. I said, do you get a reply? <laughs> See, friends, good people are those who never complain. And those who complain, they are no good. See, friends, in God's creation, Nothing is wrong. Everything is perfect. You take this vision and live your life. As much birth is necessary, death is equally necessary. As much health is necessary, diseases are necessary. Otherwise, where the doctors will go? See, as much poverty is necessary, riches are necessary. Once you discover this principle that this world is made up of the threads which are crisscrossing like the cloth. Cloth is not made out of the threads which are going only in one direction. It is called as a rope. You can hang yourself. But if you want to have a cloth, 
Don't imagine I want a cloth wherein all the thread should go in one direction. It is impossible. In the same manner, this world is made up of things which are not opposed to each other. I no don't like to use that word. Dwandva is normally translated by most of the people as pairs of opposite. They are not opposites. They are the pairs of complements. Death is complemented in life. Life is complemented in death. Poverty is complemented in riches and vice versa. This is how the world is made up of. And once you accept this, that this is how the world is made up of, you will be happy. This is the divine vision. See, when we look around in this world and see the corruption, all kinds of things, we become frustrated. What? What is there to be frustrated? One person asked me this question in a gathering. Swamiji, I want to know what is your comment over the corruption that is going rampantly in our country? What do you have to say? I said I have nothing to say. If I get chance, I will also do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Those who are not getting chance, they only are complaining. If they get chance, do you think they will keep shut? They will also do the same thing. And corruption is not only eating money, friends. Corruption is, if you take the correct definition of corruption, are we sincere to the job that we are supposed to do? That is corruption. We are supposed to reach the office on time and work. Are we doing that? That is corruption. We are supposed to take care of our elders in our family. We are not taking care of our elders. Is it not corruption? See, friends, corruption doesn't mean only eating money. There is a wide spectrum of cor uh, corruption. Therefore, this world has always been like this. Therefore, don't give much importance to that. Focus your attention on something higher in life. See, friends. Then only we have the divine vision. So, when Arjuna saw that, Tataha sa vishmaya vishto, Hrushta roma dhananjaya pranam mesir sa devam krutanjalira bhashata. When he saw the divine form with so many things together, so bright and brilliant, krutanjali he is, put his palms together, krutanjali abhashata, he said, Vishmaya Vishtaha, he was wonderstruck. What I am seeing, can't imagine this. Rishta Roma, oribulation, Pranam Vishirsadeva, with all humility and salutation, putting his palms together, he thus said. What Arjuna said? <coughs> Pashyami Devan Stava Deva Dehe. Sarvanstatha Bhuta Vishesha Sanghan Brahmana Misham Kamalasanastham Rishishcha Sarvanduragascha Divyan Aneka Bahu Daravakra Netram Pashyami Tvam Sarvato Nantarupam Nantam Namadhyam Napunastavadim Pashyami Vishveshwara Vishwarupa Kiritinam Gadinam Chakrinam Cha Tejo Rashim Sarvato Dipti Mantam Pashyami Tvam Dunuriksham Samantat Diptanalarkat Dithima Prameyam Tvamaksharam Paramam Veditavyam Tvamasya Vishwasya Param Nidhanam Tvam Vyaya Shashvata Dharma Gopta Sanatana Stvam Purusho Matome His prayer continues with great wonder, humility, surrender and understanding. First, Pashyami Devans Tava Deva Dehe He, O Lord, Tava Dehe in your I am seeing all the gods. Pashyami Devan <coughs> this word Deva is a technical term. Dyotana Deva. The one which is illuminating is called as Deva. See, everything in our 
scriptures is to be understood from three standpoints. One is Adi Bhautik, second is Adi Daivik, and third is Adhyatmi. Three standpoints. For example, <coughs> the structural eye or the um, ball hanging in the sky called as the sun, what we see with our structural eye is Adi Bhautik. Then the second one is that there is a vision in the eyes. So the vision is because of the grace of the Lord Son. So that Lord Son, because of whose grace there is a vision in the eyes, that is called as Adi Daivika Surya. And the third thing is that knowledge of the colors and forms is taking because of the eyes, so that is Adhyatmik Surya. So the sun which is hanging in the sky is Adi Bhautik. That sun because of which Karna was born to Kunti Mata, he was Adi Daivik Surya. And that sun because of whom we are able to see is Adhyatmik Surya. So, Deva means the one illuminating power. Like, you know, the mic I am seeing, the mic cannot see me. I see the chair, but the chair doesn't see me. Imagine if it happens, what a great fun it will be. <coughs> when some huge structure is going towards a chair, chair will run away, papre, agaya, hati. It doesn't happen. So, Pashami Devan, O oh Lord, I am seeing all the possible faculties are in you. All possible faculties. Which are the faculties? Shabda Sparsha Rupa Rasagandha. If these are the five objects, there are five faculties. The faculty of hearing. The faculty of seeing, smelling, tasting, touching, etc. Now these faculties are common for all of us. When we talk about vision, no man it is said my vision or your vision. Vision is a common denominator. Like you know the students in the medical college they study anatomy. They don't study the anatomy of the dead body. They are studying the anatomy of the humanity. So this is the causal level understanding. Unless our understanding at the causal level is complete, we will never be able to deduct properly at the effect level. So Arjuna says, Pashami Devan Stava Deva Dehe. O oh Lord, I am seeing all the possible potentialities which are seeing manifested in this world. And Sarvan Sata Bhuta Vishesha Sangan and all those faculties, potentialities, they are seen manifested in the form of the effect in all the beings and things. See friends, take one example, take any object. That object is seen by us in five different ways. See, what is the sound the object makes? Suppose I take, you know, this flower and I crush it. So there is some sound. So this object has a sound, shabda, sparsha, I touch it. It is soft, cold, shabda, sparsha, rupa, ranga, it is this size, this shape, this color. Then, shabda, sparsha, rupa, rasa, gandha, I take the smell and taste make the um, some kind of achar out of this and taste aha so one object is seen by us experienced by us in five different ways because there are five objects five sense organs and this is common for everyone it is not that you know a mahatma has got you know um, seven and a half sense organs. 
and a papatma has got two and half. No, it's not a human being has got five sense organs and animals have got only two. No, because what is at the causal level, the same thing is manifested as effect level. See friends, therefore when the doctor does the operation, he has already known where the kidney is. When he has to perform the operation, will he say, Yaar mein bhul gaya, kidney kitha rakhi hai? No. Because it is common denominator. Therefore, O oh Lord, I have seen in you, that you are the cause and you are the effect. Brahmanamisham kamala sanastham. And this is this total creation. Cause and effect is maintained by three principles. The three principles are the principle of creation, sustenance and dissolution. <coughs> so, <coughs> Brahmaji, the creator, Isha, Shiva, the destroyer and the remaining Vishnu Bhagwan is the maintenance department. I have seen in you all these three potentialities manifesting as if having taken a different form. Be very attentive. One man with the conditioning of his father, he is called as the son. But he has not become many. The same man with the conditioning of the wife, he is called as the husband. He is the same man. And so is the case with reference to his son. He has become father. So like one man has become three in the same manner, one Paramatma with the three functions is referred to as if he has become three. O oh Lord, I have recognized that you are the one who is the creator. You are the one who is sustainer. You are the one in whom everything goes back. He who has this knowledge, he will have no complaints. He will go beyond the law of karma. Because everything is happening in his will. See friends. Therefore a devotee is not uh, influenced by the law of karma. Because for him everything is happening is, is God's will. When everything is happening according to his will. Where is the question I am the doer. See friends. But most of us get lost in this dumb thing called as the theory of karma. Punya, dharma, dharma. It is required up to a particular level, kg1, kg2, kg3. But now we are in quintals. How long are we going to talk the same thing? I don't know what sin I have done. I got married to this lady. Swamiji, please help me. So what can I tell you? You have tortured her in the last life. <laughs> Therefore she has come in this life. And she is observing Karva Chauk. <laughs> she is not going to leave you for next seven lives. <laughs> Therefore behave properly. <laughs> this is only for us to become self-oriented. Presently, we are selfish. Those who are selfish, they stink. Then those who have the self as the Isha, they are self-oriented. It is for this purpose that the law of karma etc. is told. So, Rushishta Sarvan Uragashta Divyad all the great rishis who are the custodians of the wisdom of the total world and Uragasha Divyan, the divine snakes, that also I have, I have seen or I am seeing. Aneka Bahu Dharavakra Netram, O Lord, I am seeing you with many, many hands and eyes and mouth, etc. And Pashami Tvam Sarvataha Anantarupam, you are expressing in many forms, like the way we is talking to the ocean. Oh Lord, you are expressing in all the forms, whether it is a tsunami or a Katrina, whether it is a dew drop or whether, whether it is an iceberg, you alone are expressing. 
एंड न अंतम न मध्यम न पुनस्तवादी तव न अंत मध्य यू है नाइदर द बिगिनिंग नॉट द एंड नॉट द सेंटर यू आर द इनफिनिट पोटेंशियल सी Will the wave be able to imagine, understand, appreciate the possibility of number of waves that were in the past, which are in the present, and which will be in the future? A wave will never be able to recognize this. See, friends. But when the divya drishti comes, then all the possible potentialities are recognized. This is what a spiritual life is. Recognize you are all infinite potentialities, and for us to recognize our infinite potentiality, the Lord, out of sheer love and compassion, not out of qualification, creates such situations in our life that we are able to be self-oriented in our pursuit. presently we are extorted our life is dog world but when our life will become god world and for that purpose alone the problems are created by the lord out of sheer love and compassion see friends the whole bhagavad gita begins with this compassion in the heart of the lord imagine when arjuna told bhagwan sri krishna उभयोर्मे रथम स्थापय मेच्युत हे अच्युत कैंडली टेक मै चारियट बिटवीन द टू आर्मी भगवान कृष्ण हेड चॉइस यु नो चॉइस दिस डिस मोर देन एनी बड़ी हेल्स देर वॉज वन सरदार जी एंड ही वॉज विनिंग ऑल द एंसर्स एंड ही केम टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन and then avita bachan asked me last question if you win this question you will get 10 crores not one crore okay and the question was what is your father's name and sardar started laughing why are you laughing tell your father's name <laughs> option to diya hi nahi <laughs> Because he has gone up to that point only by options. <laughs> See, friends. So this Paramatma is infinite. He can never have any beginning, middle, and end. It cannot be comprehended by our intellectual abilities. No. Unless we merge ourselves in the ocean, the wave can never recognize the truth. So the divine vision is: give up your obsessions about anything and everyone. Normally, we are all obsessed with something or the other, and more the obsession, stronger is the ego. Like you know, for example, some people are obsessed with uh, perfection. Such people are perfectly miserable. Miserable also perfectly, not ordinary. See, friends. Therefore, the Lord creates such situation as He created for Arjuna when He was told, "Say na yor ko yor mandeya tam sthapa yame chuta." Bhagwan had a choice. Whether to take the chariot in front of Duryodhana, Dushyantana, or take the chariot anywhere else, and where Baba Sri Krishna took the chariot, Vishma Drona Pramukata ha, Sarve Shamcha Mahikshita. Of all the uh, army people in the opposite lane, of among all of them, Bhagwan has chosen Vishma Chari, Drona Chari, so that. Arjuna should get confused. See, friends, unless you are confused, you will never stop. 
and when you stop in configure there the truth is revealed to you you get the highest wisdom when you are confused when we are going to rd in in maharashtra we drove from a long distance early morning time 6 o'clock or so and the driver i told us hey man you are going somewhere wrong ask somebody no 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 i know i said you do not know if you don't feel like asking i last stop the car they stop the car in the morning one person with a pagdi on his head and lota in his hand he was going for purnamada ha purnamidam purnat purnamudashi when he was thus going we stopped the car and i asked that man i said uh, uh, excuse me i spoke to him in local language excuse me where this road goes even under that high bp his wisdom was not lost he told me road goes nowhere <laughs> road doesn't go anywhere he said you ask a proper question where you have to go i will tell you the road <laughs> in the same manner whenever there is a problem in our life of any kind understand in the disguise of that problem is divine blessing hidden that is the divine benefit don't complain see had this situation been not created by the lord arjun would never have asked all what he has asked in the bhagavad gita Praise. Therefore, when Bhagwan smiles, because Prasan Niva Bharat, Bhagwan started his discourse when Arjuna said, "Take my chariot between the two army. Let me check who is there to fight with me." The so Bhagwan smiled and said, "Okay, you want to see? You are Dada and Guru. With them you have to fight." And when Arjuna became frustrated, disgusted, then Bhagwan को मजा आ गया, मजा है? Don't we do that? When the kids are playing, there was one girl. Now she is a grown-up one. She was so attached and close to me. She will never like any child coming near me. My Swami, my Swami. So one day I was telling her. Hey, you have got two mom and dad. I don't know anyone, so I will take your dad. Okay, with her small frog size hand, she will cover her a huge structural father and say, No, no, you can't take. He is mine. Okay, then you keep the dad. I'll take mom. No, 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 you can't take the mom. And when I am pulling them, she is crying. Swami, please don't, don't, don't. So when she was crying, do you think I will suffer? I was playing food with the child. Exactly the same way, Bhagwan for time pass is making fool of us, and we become miserable. Was I a fool to take her, her mother and suffer? <laughs> Then why did I do time pass? Like you know, good food doesn't mean only rasgulla or mitai. Good food also means you should have chutney in that. All navarasa should be there, is it not? In the same manner, life has all the shades. Happiness, thode gum hai, thode khushiya, ye jivan hai. Look at the life with this vision. You are somewhere near Arjuna. So. नांतम न मध्यम न पुनस्त वारिम पश्चा विश्वेश्वर विश्वरूप हे भगवान आई एम सींग युअर दिस फॉर्म डिवाइन फॉर्म विच इज एट द कॉजल लेवल नाउ आफ्टर हैविंग सीन द लॉर्ड एज बोथ द कॉज एंड इफेक्ट नाउ द टीचर द स्टूडेंट इज टेल इन द सेकंड स्टेज किरीटीनम गदीनम चक्रिणम च तेजो राशि सर्वतो दीप्तिमंतम पश्चा ताम दुर्निरीक्षम समंता प्रमेयम नव भगवान चतुर्भुज फॉर्म ही सींग पश्चा किरीटीन गदीन चक्रिण चंख चक्र गा पद्म इन दैट फॉर्म अर्जुन सींग भगवान फर्स्ट ही सॉ एस कॉज एंड इफेक्ट एंड ऑल्सो डिस्कवर्ड 
he alone is the cause and he alone is the effect and therefore he is beyond cause and effect. That was the first vision Arjuna had. That was the second vision. That doesn't mean there is the cause is an illusion. No, cause is equally a reality as much the effect is the reality. And therefore the second stage is Oh Lord, I am seeing you with the Shankha Chakra Gada Padma. You are divine, bright form. You know the Shankha Chakra Gada Padma which our uh, Narayana has. What is the purpose of that? First is Shankha. He takes the Vaikuntha mobile <laughs> and he gives us a call. When he gives us a call, he gets a standard message. The customer that you are trying to contact is out of reach. <laughs> we have no choice. We bank the phone. I don't know why these people keep the phone off. You know. But Bhagwan doesn't do that. He has got in the other hand Gada. Thank God Bhagwan is not a South Indian. Do you know why? Because in Tamil Indian language, there is no difference ta ta da da na. So, Om Gada Dharaya Namaha. No, Om Gada Dharaya Namaha. Shankar Chakra Gada Padma. Like Kavita, they will say Kavitha. Not Ta Tha. So, Bhagwan has got a second thing in his hand, the Gada, the maze. So when we don't listen to the inner voice, all of us know what is right. We are all the expressions of the truth. We don't need anybody to be told what is right and what is wrong. See, Arjuna's question in third chapter. Atha kena prayukto yam papam charati purucha ani chanapi varshneya. Ani chanapi. Although we know this, we don't want to do this, this is wrong, and yet we do that. Meaning, we know what is right and wrong. Who doesn't know what is right and wrong? Everyone knows. And yet, we don't listen to our inner voice. Because the customer is out of reach. So Bhagavan takes the gada in his hand and gives one turn. Oh God, if you remember when the phone comes, you will not get the hit. See, friends, Kabirji says, Dukhame sumiran sabakare, sukhame kare nakhuge. Whenever there is a misery, confusion, then only we remember God. See? And therefore, when Bhagavan sees, oh, this person doesn't remember me, they come, oh, ek laga. And they don't God. But then we become so expert. See? So let there be any miseries. We continue to be this wretched world. See friends. There was a friend of mine. I don't know where he is now. He got married. Within one year or so. Baby produced. That child was born a girl. And the wife died in the delivery. Three years, the baby has to be brought up. His mother was taking care. Then mommy said, Beta, how long will you live like this thing? You get married second time. Who will look after the baby after I die? Okay, mommy, for your sake I get married. All those people who say, for your sake I get married, they are cheating themselves. They got married again. And again the performance repeated. Again one more and a half year, another girl was born. And the wife died in the delivery. Once, twice, thrice, four times a day. And all the four daughters. Consistency. <laughs> and yet he did not learn that life is something different than this. To such people, who do not learn from their own experiences. They are not awakened yet. They are still rotting in this relative world. For them, 
we will give up our maru. Bhagavan will not give up. Then he has got the Sudarshan Chakra, not Sudarshan Kriya. Sudarshan Chakra is his hand. <laughs> and what is that Sudarshan Chakra? Punarapi Jananam, Punarapi Maranam, Punarapi Janani Jatare Shayanam. And if we listen the first call, and that call has to be received nicely. Hello, how are you? Not, ha, ah, ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is a typical uh, Gujarati. If you talk to a Gujarati, a Gujarati will not say hello. Ha, ah, ball. <laughs> like a barking mouth. <laughs> if this happens, we listen to his call from within. We get Padma, the lotus, all peace within. So this divine form, O Lord, Kiritinam Gadinam Chakridam Cha Tejo Rashim Sarvato Diptimantam I am seeing you are that form which is blessing as well as punishing depending upon the requirement for the evolution of every soul. Now, after having given this Saguna Sakar, now the teacher is giving, uh, Arjuna is talking, the Nirguna Sakar, Tvamaksharam Paramam Veditavyam, Tvamasya Vishwasya Param Nidhanam, Tvamaugaya Shashwata Dharma Gopta, Sanatana Tvam Purusho Matome. Tvamaksharam Paramam Veditavyam, Veditavyam, worthy of knowing. What is worthy of knowing? How much money Amuk Amuk uh, politician has uh, collected through corruption? It is not worthy of knowing. See, one or two questions. Don't answer these questions loudly, answer in your mind. Who was the third president of United States of America? On the Last eclipse, how many people were born? What is the height of um, the tallest tree in the world? What is the answer? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. It makes no difference. But what makes a difference? What is that which makes you miserable? Then you will come to know, whenever you have become somebody, that somebody is always miserable. This is worthy of knowing. When are you happy? When you are nobody, as in deep sleep. This is worthy of knowing. See friends, Veditavyam. What is that which we should know sincerely? See, in the 13th chapter, Agvastri Krishna says, I shall tell you that which is worthy of knowing. And then he says, Anadi mat param brahma na tatsat na asat uchate. So that nirvun nirakar tattva tvam aksharam paramam veditavyam. You are that indestructible, uncreated, unmodifying, infinite conscious blissful existence and tvam asya vishvasya param nidhanam and everything is contained in you. Now be very very attentive. <coughs> this divine vision must become clear. Once I was somewhere in Vichakapatna, we were going by boat in the sea and the sea became little rough. So that person asked, Swami, should we go back? I said, no, I, I am enjoying free ride up and down. So there were a few people, no, no, Swami, we should go back. I feel sick. I said, anyway, you are sick. I am also sick of you. Let's go back. <laughs> then I asked that man, I said, hey, how deep is the water in the ocean? He attended. The same question we asked. We go to the jeweler and we ask him, is there gold in the ornament? See what a wrong question it is. Water is not in the ocean. 
the ocean is in the water. If you remove the waters from the ocean, it is no more a ocean. Once I was giving uh, some example about the mud pots. See, the mud is not in the pot, the pot is in the mud. If you remove the mud from the pot, what will remain? One elderly person very sincerely said, clean pot. <laughs> <laughs> such a wise people, what can you talk? Deep in the he refused. It's not a clicking pot. So we imagine, we very attentive, we imagine the gold is in the ornament, but the truth is, the ornament is in the gold. We imagine the water is in the ocean, but the truth is, the ocean is in the waters, we imagine that we are inside the body, but the truth is the body is in us. This is the divinity. <coughs> See friends, if I is not there, there is no my body. If I is not there, there is no my wife. If I is not there, there is no my misery. If I is not there, there is no my property. So where is everything existing? Everything is existing in this I. But we have the upside down understanding. Viparita Bhavana. So here that prayer is telling us, Tomasya Vishwasya Param Nidhanam. This whole world is contained in you, O oh Lord. We friends. We can ask a question, where is the earth? There will be reply. We can ask a question, where are the waters? There is a reply. We can ask, where is the fire? There is a reply. We can ask, where is the air? There is a reply. Have we ever asked a question, where is the space? Everything is in the space. There is no air for the space. Yet this question was asked by one student in one of the operations. Where is the space? So the teacher said, in your head. No, 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 please tell. The space is nowhere other than in the mind. When your mind is enfolded as in deep sleep, where are you? In Bengaluru or Hubui? <coughs> Nowhere. Because the space disappears the moment mind is enfolded. And with the disappearance of the space, the time disappears. When time and space disappears, the objects disappear. When time, space, object, Desha Kala Vastu, they are nowhere. There is no world. But you continue to be. So you are the abode of everything in this world. This is the divinity. See friends. And when we include anything in the definition of I, towards that we have no hatred. Once I went to some hospital to see some friend. So <coughs> after I saw there was one man. He said, Oh Swamiji, please come, please bless me also. I said, Okay, enjoy your sufferings. <laughs> so, he said, Swamiji, see, I have got a big, big axe, you know, axis on my hand. And you know, every day when the doctor comes, you know, he you know, presses that thing. And almost, you know, half a bucket full of pus comes out. And he was telling so lively as if the mango juice is coming out of it. <laughs> and for me, because I was not involved in that, I said, yeah, enough, enough. He said, no, I will tell you more. Sometimes, sometimes, you don't want to know. When our pain is also there, it is very joyful. Because I is there. See, Tomasya Vishwasya Param Nidhanam. Then, Tom Avyaya Shashwata Dharma Gopta Avyaya 
although the whole world is in you, O Lord, you remain the same. Is it not our experience? Dehi no svinyatha dehi kaumaram yauvanam jara tatha dehantara praptihi dhirastatranamuyati The childhood has come and gone. The teenage has come and gone. The young adult age has come and gone. The middle age has come and gone. But I don't feel old age has come and gone. But now I have started feeling old age has come and gone. Now people are praying, Oh Lord, don't keep him long. We cannot see his suffering. The person who is in coma, he never suffers. Those who are alive, they suffer. Kitna will pay for a job. So all the good and bad experiences we have gone, but nobody has experience of birth, growth, old and death and absence. We are the same. That is why many old people say, I am not um, old, I am just 18 years old. But now your grandson told me you are 81 years old. No, no, the figures are in this way, that way. Actually, I am 18 years old, not 81. Now, the one who is not 81 and the one who is 81, they are two entities. 81 is the body. Embodied doesn't have age. Tam avyaya and Shashwata Dharma Gupta. Shashwata Dharma is what? That Dharma which can never change. Shashwata Dharma Mukta means the one who is the controller of the eternal Dharma. Dharma of the fire to be hot, Dharma of the water to be liquid, Dharma of the air to be uh, flowing, moving. In this manner, this whole world is sustained by this eternal law that all the great elements and everything is moving in a cosmos without creating a chaos. See friends, when uh, a doctor sleeps in the morning when he gets up, he doesn't become an engineer. So his knowledge is protected and contained by the same principle. In this manner, everything is controlled by you, O Lord, Shashwata Dharma Gopta, and therefore Sanatanastvam Purusho Matome. So according to my understanding, O Lord, you are the Sanatana Purusha. Purusha means two meaning of this word Purusha. Purusha means Purishayanat Purusha. The one who is expressing through the body, our body is called as Puri. Puri means a town, Jagannath Puri. Navadware Pure Dehi Naiva Kurvanna Karaya. So, Puri the one who is expressing through the body as a resident of the body is called as Purusha. And second, Puratva Purusha. So, although he is expressing through the limitations of the body, yet he has never become limited. Discover this principle, your divine vision is open. See? The other day somebody met me, Swamiji, you have changed my complete life. I said, I am so sorry. He said, no, no, it is for good. Earlier I was so disturbed, so frustrated. Why this happens? Because we imagine that we are husband 24-7. You are not. We all have to play different roles in life. See? Play your role perfectly well. Fortunately, all of you are in Karnataka. Natak karo. <laughs> <laughs> and what is Natak? Natak is, it appears everything is being done, but nothing is done. This is called as Natak. So when you are in front of your subordinates, roar like a lion. But when you are in front of your wife, meow like a cat. Perfect. You will never be miserable in life. 
बिकॉज बोथ द प्लेसेज यू आर डूइंग द नाटक स्वामी जी इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट डोंट टेल मी दैट वॉट आर यू डूइंग नाउ एज इफ लिसनिंग कितने महात्मा आके चले गए ए चैलेंज टू द महात्मा सुधार के दिखाओ डोंट टेक लाइफ इन रॉन्ग स्ट्राइक वी ऑल हैव टू प्ले सो मेनी रोल्स लेट एस नॉट मिक्स अप दिस रोल्स लाइफ विल बी मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल बिकॉज ऑल दिस रोल्स आर नॉट रियल दे आर ओनली कंडीशनल आर वी बाय बर्थ हजबेंड नो then when the husband is born when you get married so when the wife dies then what happens to the husband he goes no where because he was not see one of my friend he had a chinese wife very sweet she was really very good lady and uh, one day i came to know that she died and just marriage was hardly for 3 4 years only one child was born and when she suddenly died for something my friend was so miserable so constantly crying i mean i don't know what i am you know i said look here yaar enough of how much will you cry you have to come out of it now take care of the child and it's okay you will have to go through nobody can live your life but why did she die you reply my this question Then I'll stop crying. I said, "Okay, listen. Chinese mall, jada tikta nahi." What can you do? We have to accept the truth. There is no way out. Once you recognize this principle of life, you will go through. all the ups and downs and maintain your wisdom and wit all through your life see friends therefore sanatarastam purusho mato me purusha te purnatvat purusha so this purna purusha paramatma he alone is supporting the man in me he alone is supporting the husband in me he alone is supporting the father in me the he alone is supporting the son in me and because he has as if become many he has not become many <clears throat> it is something like this eyes alone are rather a mind alone is vision when coming out of the eyes the same mind when it comes out of the ears it is called as the hearing ability the same mind when it comes out of the nose it is called as poking ability we <laughs> poke nose everywhere poke ability because of this has the mind become many and suppose the eyes become blind has any loss occurred to the mind mind is the same come to discover this truth that we are two in one as a conditioned expression is the individuality and as that which is expressing through the conditioning is purnatvat purusha when our understanding thus gets corrected in the light of wisdom we will go through all the experiences without becoming an experiencer joyful or sorrowful entity anadi madhyanta mananta viryam ananta bahum shashi surya netram pashyami tvam deepta hutasha vaktram swatejasa vishvam idam tapantam ati sida a virata roop of the same parmatma the total gross manifested world anadi madhyantam ananta viryam o lord without the beginning end and the center you are with the infinite potentialities ananta bahum through every hand you alone are expressed be attentive in the 10th chapter bhagwan said 
I am the um, mountain, the Himalaya among the mountains, I am the Ganges among the rivers, etc. So that was in the various locations God was to be discovered. Now here everything is in the one reality, the Lord. So here he says that Ananta Bahum, all hands are yours. We attend. We all have hands. But how many times we become aware of this? That this hand is functioning under two agencies. Central government, state government. Two agencies. So, I have a desire to go and scratch my face. But something had happened and the hand has become because of the stroke paralyzed. So, there is a desire to scratch my head or mouth with the hand, but my desire is no more functional because the divine energy is withdrawn from the hand. So, two energies are simultaneously functioning. Therefore, Anandavahum Shashi Surya Netram. That doesn't mean Shashi Surya Netram is like you know that old truck, one light bright, one light dim light. That is not the case. Shashi Surya Netram means the one who is the illuminator of all experiences of rather through the sense organs or through the mind. Shashi is the moon and moon is the presiding deity of mind. So all the experiences gathered through the mind are because of the presence of the Lord as the presiding deity of moon for the mind. That is why those people who are little mental on the uh, Puran Masi and Amavasya, there is a celebration. <laughs> because you know, the moon activates the extreme. Keshi Surya Netram. In a school, the teacher asks, Okay, children, tell who is more powerful, sun or the moon? All the children said, Sun. And one child did not raise it. What about you? He said, I disagree with them. Then the moon is more powerful. How come? Sun gives light during day, how does it matter? Moon gives light at, in night in darkness, it is more powerful. <laughs> how you look at it? So, Shashi Surya Netram, Pashyami Tvam Dipta Hutasha Vaktram. See, the mouth of the God is fire. Everything is offered to the Lord in the form of Ahuti in the Agni Kunda. We don't offer Ahuti in the waters. We don't offer Ahuti in, uh, on the soil. We don't offer Ahuti in the air. Because fire is the mouth through which the Lord is. So you are that Dipta Udashyaktam Swatejasa Vishwamidam Tapantam by your own power, energy and the strength, the whole world is activated. Dhyava Prithivyo Ridamantaram hi Vyaptam Tvaya Ekena Dishascha Sarva Drushtvat Bhutam Rupamu Gramta Vedam Lokatrayam Pravyatitam Mahatman Hey Mahatman, all the worlds are terrified by seeing you are this Ugra Rupam. Now from here, the Lord's Terrible form is being explained by Arjuna. He says, <coughs> You have occupied or everything is contained in you, whether it is the space, the earth or in between. All the directions are contained within you. And Drushtva Adbhutam Rupa Ugram Taveda. And in this Ugra, terrifying form, Having seen Lokatrayam Pravyatitam Mahatman, He Mahatman, O Lord, everyone is frightened. Be attentive. Who are those? Amihitvam Surasangha Vishanti, Kejit Bhita Pranjalayo Pranti, Swasti Tyuktva Maharshi Siddha Sangha, Stuvanti Tvam Stuti Vipushkalavihi. All these children of Dhritarashtra, all these gods, all these kings, 
they are extremely frightened and because of the fear they have put their palms together and they are trying to pray you and all the great siddha or the marshis they are again and again offering their prayer telling let there be goodness prevail everywhere and in this manner by many many prayers and many stotras pushkala bhi by many of them you are being glorified who are those rudra aditya vasavo ye cha sadhya visveshvino murut marutash joshnapascha gandharva yaksha sura siddha sangha vikshante twa vismitascha eva sarve these are the various forms of life what we see by our eyes that alone is not life life is far beyond which are the rudra aditya vasavaha vasudev vasus then ashvinah then 49 marutas pushpapa the pitaras gandharva the uh, divine musicians yaksha the the uh, treasurers and sura the deva siddha sangah all the siddha purushas they are all seeing your this divine form and all of them are extremely uh, awestruck by looking at this now why are you telling this arjuna continues rupam mahate bahu vakra netram mahabaho bahu bahu rupadam bahu daram bahu drashtra kararam drushtva lokam